right, so I've got a, I've got my pattern over here now. Obviously, this is transparent, so you guys can get a general idea of where you need to place the points on your character. I'm going to start with the polygon tool and just copy this exact same pattern that I'm drawing out here. I'm holding down shift to constrain that line to get it nice and straight. I'm going to go to edit curvature. Actually, I'm going to go to my fabric over here, decrease the opacity so I can see the pattern underneath. I'm going to go to edit curvature and just follow this line. I'm going to curve this in here as well, just so it follows the form and overall shape of the body a little bit better. I'm going to go to my edit pattern, select this middle line, unfold this, select these two dots, delete them, go back to my edit curvature, curve this down, and I'm going to curve the bottom as well a little bit. I can go ahead, select this image that I brought in, delete it, and this is our final pattern. So I'm just going to center that. Now I'm going to right click, go to symmetric pattern with sewing, and this is going to be the back. I'm actually going to go back to my fabric and bring my opacity back up. So I'm going to say flip horizontally. Let's move this behind the character. I'm going to go to my segment sewing, sew this onto this. This one to this, this one to this, and this one to this. I'm going to click spacebar and we'll have a basic tank top, but we're not done yet. I'm going to go back to my fabric over here and you want to make sure your preset is on 20s muslin. Okay, and now I'm going to go to my edit pattern. Actually, no, I'm going to go to the uh, transform pattern, select both of these, right click, go to remove linked editing uh, because I actually want to adjust the pattern or the shape of the back of our tank top over here. Okay, and I'm going to select both of these and bring my particle distance down to 10. So I'm going to do that now already. Just so I can see things a little bit better, see these folds a little bit better with just higher quality. Now I'm going to go to my edit pattern. Let's select these lines. Right click, go offset internal line. I'm going to put this on 10. So I'm basically creating a little bit of a detail you'll see over here. While it's still selected, right click, go to cut and sew. So it's basically cutting it off from this pattern but sewing it back on. I'm going to go to this fabric, copy it. So I'm going to basically make a duplicate and I'm going to put this on red. And I'm going to go back to my transform pattern, select all of these separated patterns over here and change the fabric to red. And this would basically be a yeah, this is a basic tank top. So I've gone ahead, press spacebar to simulate that. And you can see uh, it basically, basically gave me this nice uh, detail on our uh, tank top over here. Okay, so another thing to mention, if you guys still wanted to play with the shape of this garment, uh, I would actually do that before you actually separate these pieces off. So get whatever shape you want and then separate it off. If you guys didn't want this to be so tight on the character, you could select everything and go to the shrinkage weft and put it on something like 120. So it kind of makes the fabric a lot more loose and it kind of adds like more fabric onto our garment as well. So you can see there, it's a little bit more loose now and not as tight. So it's completely dependent on what type of uh, tank top you guys are going for. Okay, but that's the basics for creating a tank top, nice and easy and simple to do right so thanks for watching my tutorials guys and stay tuned for some more tutorials and goodbye